What's cracking, you two? You know who I be. Yes, yes, yes. No introductions. Thank you very much. I'm here to give you my review on the WWE United Champions pay-per-view. Let's get started. We had the United States Championship Battle Royal for the number one contender who will face Antonio Cesaro later on in the show. I'm not going to tell you who it was. I'm just going to pretty much tell you that it ended up between Tenzai and Zack Ryder. And Zack Ryder beats Tenzai. So he is the number one contender to face Antonio Cesaro for his United States Championship later on. So Michael Cole tells us that Jerry Lawler, he's going back home sometime this week. So continue speedy recovery. Jerry Lawler, hope to see you back commentating real soon. But John Bradshaw Layfield will replace Jerry Lawler on Monday Night Raw's already pay-per-views until he returns. So we get the Fatal 4-Way, which was announced on SmackDown. It's Rey Mysterio, Sin Cara, and Cody Rhodes going against your Intercontinental Champions, The Miz. A pretty decent match, but how it ended was crazy. Sin Cara pulls out his mask, tries to put it on Cody Rhodes' face. To no avail. He puts it on Miz's face and yes, really got the mask on him. Cody Rhodes bumps into the Miz. Miz turns him around, puts him in the skull, crushing finale. And he didn't know whether he pinned Sin Cara or Cody Rhodes. But at the end, the Miz retains his Intercontinental title. So, Kaylin tells Eve she's unable to compete tonight. So therefore, won't be no Divas Championship match tonight. But hold on a minute. Booker T tells Eve he, she has done very well with his administration. So therefore, he's giving her the opportunity to face Layla for the Divas Championship later. Now we get to the tag team champions, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth. Yes, they're defending the titles against Kane and Daniel Bryan. Now, talk about an eye couple. It's like, people, let me tell you about my badge, friend. <laughs> Enough about that. This was a weird match. Daniel Bryan and Kane are just simply not into all cylinders at the beginning. This was crazy. The match ended with Kofi Kingston trying to do his uh, flip off from Kane, but Bryan held on to Kane's leg and keeping Kofi from putting him down. And then Kane pushes him away, and then Daniel Bryan knocks him down onto Kofi. Good sellout job for Kofi Kingston to concede their tag team titles and Kane and Daniel Bryan are new tag team champions and crazy as it is I don't think they're going to keep the tag team titles that long because they can't coexist together and they're both ch you know, chanting I am tag team champion I am tag team champion uh, they're not going to be tag team champions long now we get the United States Championship we got Antonio Cesaro with Aksana. Oh, you hate five languages every time. I get sick of that. So he's defending his title against Zack Ryder. Pretty decent match. But before Zack could do his little woo, 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 Aksana pushes Antonio away from him. And that kind of messes it up. And he goes back into the ring and puts him in a gut wrenching move. And he pins Zack Ryder to retain his United States. Right, so we get the. Match between Randy Orton and Dolph Ziggler. A decent match nonetheless. Ziggler and Orton are all together in this. Chemistry was perfect. Just the kind of match that Ziggler likes to be in. Same thing for Randy, even though Orton hasn't been into much of these matches lately since he returned a few months ago. But now, here's Orton, here's Ziggler. Great match, but at the end, Ziggler had got the RKO given him by Randy Orton. Orton wins the match. So we get the Divas champion Layla defending the title against a uh, replacement of Caitlyn which is now E. And at first I thought maybe we see a sign of uh, karma? Where is she at? I wish she would come. I mean WWE's taking so long bringing her back so I just wish she would come on. But at any rate E she is the replacement of Caitlyn. If it wasn't Caitlyn, Layla would have won that match. But it was Eve, to the chagrin, she becomes the new Divas Champion. I wasn't really worried about this match because I thought Layla would win whether Eve was not competing. But since she did, Eve 
under Booker's administration gets the title to the Diva. Uh, we get the World Heavyweight Champion, Sheamus, the finish title against Alberto Del Rio. Booker T comes out before the match and tells the WWE that the bro kick, after his further thorough investigation, has been reinstated, which I kind of knew was going to happen from the beginning, because of course, this is a big match. Don't use it now. Wait until the Night of Champions. So, this was indeed a Night of Champions for Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio. Those two went at it. I mean, Sheamus, against all odds, defeated Alberto Del Rio with the bro kick. And Alberto had the match won, but Sheamus, with all his might, he got up and did what he could to retain his world heavyweight championship. And in the main event, CM Punk, your WWE champion against John Cena in his hometown. This was by far an awesome match. I was just livid how it ended. CM Punk did everything to keep John Cena from winning that title. And there was no cheating. I mean, CM Punk, a technical wrestler that he is, did exactly what he said. He demands respect, yes, but you don't take nobody else's move and takes it to your advantage, but hey, I guess that's what the champion is for. So then I said, he's doing too much. He's going to the well too much. So CM Punk gets on the top row. John Cena blows him down. Hey, he's got a pin. The referee rings the bell. Cena is the 11th time WWE champion. But then at turn of events, the referee changes his decision. He said that Cena's shoulders were down as well as CM Punk's. Therefore, he called the match a draw. And CM Punk retains his WWE championship. Oh, what a way to end the show with the champion. Demanding respect, but losing their respect by the fans and myself. Hitting Cena upside the head with the belt and walking off with Paul Heyman. CM Punk is... Having us like a little puppet thinking we were on his side, but he doesn't care about the WWE Universe. He just care about what's on his waist, the WWE title. What y'all thought about the event? Post your comments. Let me know what you think. I'll see y'all back here real soon. This has been my WWE Night Champions review. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace.